Hello, I'm Chang Wan Ho, and welcome to my online presentation. This presentation focuses on the issue of all solid state batteries with solid electrolyte. And I'm talking about composite type solid electrolyte. This is index for this presentation. Lithium ion batteries are important in the world, uh, specific uh, in our life. For example, lithium ion batteries are in the smartphone that we use every day. And if you are listening to this presentation use, using your laptop or tablet, you are using a lithium ion batteries in your devices. Uh, in addition, uh, lithium ion batteries are also used in smart devices like smart watches and earphones and also used in large capacity energy storage devices such as uh, electric vehicles, EVs and energy storage system ESS due to high energy density. Uh, lithium ion batteries consist of four like figure, uh, first uh, cathode, cathode determine the performance of the lithium ion batteries. Second is anode, anode stored lithium ion. And third is separator, separator is for separating the anode and cathode physically and passing lithium ion between those. Uh, final component is electrolyte. Electrolyte probe pathway for lithium ions. Uh, in the charge discharge process, uh, is operating by the redox reaction, such as the right thermal formula. However, lithium ion batteries have great risk of explosion. Recently, a fire has occurred in large capacity lithium ion batteries. Uh, such as EVs and ESS. Uh, then, and a smartphone is also have uh, some prob um, explosion problem and safety problem. In this situation, electrolyte problems of lithium ion batteries is big issue. In the case of lithium ion batteries, uh, liquid electrolyte are used. In the case of liquid electrolytes, the fluidity of ion and the interface contacts are excellent. But uh, because liquid electrolytes use an organic solvent, uh, it is easily fired and when the temperature rises, volume expansion occurs. And there is a risk of explosion. In addition, uh, liquid electrolytes cause side reac reactions on the surface of the active material, forming an unintended SEI layer. An SEI layer creates poor battery performance, and liquid electrolytes are decomposed at high voltage and have limitation to manufacture very various shape of batteries because uh, it is liquid. Uh, in order to solve this, these problems, uh, solid electrolytes are being continuously researched. And this presentation is also for researching solid electrolytes. The figure on the left is requirement of solid electrolyte. Basically, in order to operate as an electrolyte, it must have high ionic conductivity and be electrochemically and chemically stable. It should also have strong physical stability against fire and pressure. In the case of a solid electrolyte, the interface between the electrode and the electrolyte is contacted with solid interfaces and this is a big problem of solid electrolyte. So the 
interface contact performance must be good. And through director rights uh, should have process efficiency and a cheaper price for commercialization. The figure on the right compares the performance of three types of solid electrolytes and liquid electrolytes. The three types of electrolytes are ceramic solid electrolyte, polymer solid electrolyte, and composite solid electrolyte. Ceramic solid electrolyte has the highest uh, ionic conductivity. In the case of uh, sulfide-based uh, ceramic solid electrolyte, it may have the same ionic conductivity as a uh, liquid electrolyte. Uh, however, uh, interface contact resistance is also high. That is big problem in ceramic solid electrolyte. In the case of polymer solid electrolytes, the ionic conductivity is lower than the ceramic solid electrolyte. But the interface properties in contact with the electrode is excellent due to the property of the polymer. Uh, composite solid electrolyte is distributed to complement each other's strength to improve the conductivity of lithium ions as ceramic solid electrolytes and improve the surface properties on polymer matrix. We are researching on composite solid electrolyte and we selected PVDF as the polymer matrix and LRGO as the ceramic solid electrolyte. PVDF has a strong electron withdrawing functional group. It dissolves lithium salt well and provides a lithium ion pathway and pathway and PVDF has summer and uh, electrochemical stability. LLGO has a garnet structure as an oxide-based ceramic electrolyte. Uh, in the case of a uh, cubic structure of LLGO, it has an ionic conductivity of about 10 to minus 4. In composite solid electrolyte, LLGO particles are distributed in the polymer matrix like figure. The LLGO particles operate as an active filler. LLGO has a tetragonal structure and a cubic structure. Then cubic structure has higher ionic conductivity than tetragonal structure. So we try to uh, synthesize cubic uh, LLGO particles. And small particle size of LLGO is better for distributing uniformly inside the polymer. In addition, LLGO contributes to enhance the ionic conductivity by uh, shifting the crystallinity of PVDF to amorphous because amorphous morphous has higher ionic conductivity. This is experimental method. Uh, aluminum dot LGAO was uh, synthesized by soldier method, and a uh, cubic structure LGAO was synthesized using a uh, Vermeer method. Uh, in order to fabricate a uh, composite electrolyte, PVDF as polymer, lithium perchlorate as lithium salt, and LLGAO particles were added to a uh, DMAC solvent and mixed it well and then cast on the glass plate, then dried in vacuum oven. First, it was confirmed through XRD whether LLGAO was well synthesized in cubic form. Uh, it had a tetragonal structure before the pore milling is underlined black line. Uh, it was confirmed that a cubic structure was formed after pore milling 
its red line. Uh, in addition, same image is a uh, LLGAO structure uh, image. A further measurement of ionic conductivity uh, symmetry cell with copper foil was uh, manufactured. And EIS measurement we use it. In the case of PVDF without LLGAO, it's shown show an ionic conductivity of about 10 to minus 7 and 20 weight percent LLGO uh, electrolyte uh, ionic conductivity of about 2 uh, 10 power minus 6 and electrolyte containing 4 Forty weight percent shows an uh, ionic conductivity of about ten to minus six. Uh, from this result, the improved ionic conductivity by adding energy can be seen as compared with polymer normal polymer electrolyte, but it still has to go up to at least. 10 to minus 5 to apply to a real battery. In the future, we plan to continue research on the particle size or LLGO and the crystallity of PVDF to enhance it uh, ionic electro uh, conductivity. Electrochemical stability was measured by a linear sweep photometry measurement. Uh, from this graph uh, figure, uh, the is it, 20 weight percent alleged AO in PVDF is more stable than normal PVDF electrolyte. Composite electrolyte has both merit of ceramic solid electrolyte and polymer solid electrolyte. Allergic AO is synthesized by solid gel and polymer method. Allergic AO PVDF composite solid electrolyte is fabricated. Uh, ionic conductivity of 20 weight percent allergic AO in PVDF composite electrolyte is 2, 10 to minus 6. 28% LHG AO is in PVDF composite electrolyte is electrochemically more stable than PVDF without LHG AO. Thank you for your attention.